Hello my crafty friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. I am so excited about today's project. This one was inspired by Pink Strawberries with a Z. Um, I saw she made this, um, she called it an album. Um, I guess I'm going to call it an ephemera holder slash album slash snail mail something or other. I've been busy my friends. I've been making my own little version inspired by hers. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I've made. We're making one and then I'm going to show you different options at the end um, of what else you can do with them. So I'll put this one aside for now. We're going to be making this one here. So for the front, I um, just added that little um, kind of flip out um, tag in the front. And then here you can add your own photos or recipe cards. I keep thinking about, you know, the holidays and things that we could be sending out to friends and family. Here again, you can add a photo or, or another um, recipe card. And of course you can fill it with whatever type of ephemera you want. I like my pockets on the top for some reason. So I made my pocket on the top. Um, I think in the video she makes her pockets on the side. Um, but of course you have the option to do that as well. Um, here I've made a pocket on the back as well. And um, I, I'm showing you slightly different ways that I made it than how I saw she made hers. And I've added another little pocket on the bottom here because I thought it was just super cute and there's enough space to do that. Now this is using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So use your paper, uh, paper pads, my friends. This is the perfect project to use your paper pads. Now I'm showing you the project with a single sided 12 by 12 sheet of paper, but I will show you an option afterwards as well if you're using a double sided one. So I really love how it came out. I'm definitely making lots of them to send to friends. As you can see here, I've started working on them and they don't have to be holiday themed. Um, you know, I've made some that, you know, are kind of floral and just kind of a generic color. Um, so I thought, you know, if someone's not into the holidays or doesn't celebrate, they can still get a little something, um, you know, meaningful for the holidays and it doesn't have to be that theme. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay, so when you get your 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I prefer uh, paper that the design can be used in any direction. It makes it so much easier for this project. So I have picked this one because I'm making a holiday theme, themed uh, version like the one I, I just showed you. You score it at six inches and then you turn it and score it at four inches and then at eight inches. And that's all the scoring you need here. So initially it was a six inch score line. You turn it and then you make the four inch score line and then the eight inch score line. So basically you're ending up with um, four by six sections and you've got six of those like you see here. So make sure you fold everything and um, you are going to be cutting the next step is cutting at the six inch mark. And if you just watch what I do here, you just cut up to the first score line from the end. So this is on the one side. And this is what I mean about your paper, um, the design, you, you know, that you're able to turn it in any direction because it just makes it easier to work with. Now, if you have a double sided sheet of paper as well, kind of keep that in mind. Um, but see here, I'm scoring the other side again up until that center uh, score line. And now you are folding everything in. Then you fold it basically in half. Okay, so I'll show you that again, just so that you know what I'm doing here. But it's super easy with the folds. So again, we started with our 12 by 12, we scored it. We folded them into their little sections, as you see here. So you've got your folds, fold them towards the center, and then you're, you're folding it in half again, as you can see here. So the reason I'm, I'm saying I want my pockets on the top is, um, I just, I don't know, I just prefer that way. So we're going to make our center pockets, and this is just gluing on either side of your center, how we folded it in. If you need to pause the video to see what I've done or you know, um, go back a few seconds and see how it's folded again, it's easy to do once you get started. Um, 
So here I just added glue to um, just two sides of my paper and this is going to help with the center pocket. So now you see that we have our white um, side of our paper. What we're doing next is making the pockets and covering up all that white space. You don't need to do that, but I like to do it and I do have extra, you know, scraps, scrap pieces of um, Christmas paper that I want to use in the project. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing is you're going to make your pocket or your little tuck spot, I guess your side pocket. I'm using my small trimmer here so you can see where I'm cutting, but I'm basically going up to the two inch score line here and just cutting off that piece. Now keep that because we're using it. Um, this is where I made mine different than um, how Miss Pink Strawberries did it. Um, she um, got different pieces of paper to cover everything up, but I'm going to use my same piece that I cut off because I like to save every piece, my friends. I like to reuse as much as I can. So we're using this piece to basically um, glue it to the other side of your pocket. And you'll see what I mean here. So I'm trying to make sure that it sort of evens itself out so that it looks like I haven't really cut it. Um, it's almost like a hidden pocket at this point. And I'm just making sure that it's lined up. And then you see that now this is glued down and now I'm going to add glue to the top and bottom to make my tuck spot slash pocket on my right side of my folio. Shall we call it a folio? What do you think we should call this? Leave a comment below and let me know once you've seen the video what we should call it. So here's our first little tuck spot. This becomes our front page or, you know, cover. And then of course we get to decorate, etc., etc. So for the um, left side here, which, I, which is where I want to cover, all I've done is I've gone ahead and cut um, pieces of paper that I want to use that are approximately four by six because essentially this is what our project is, um, the size of our project is. Now there may be, you know, a couple of, maybe like a, a little bit of paper hanging over the edges here and there. Um, for some reason, my paper trimmer cuts perfectly, but I just don't know why I can't cut it at the exact size sometimes. So I sometimes have little bits of pieces of paper that are kind of sticking out, but we can of course fix that a little bit later. And I love this paper. I think it matches perfectly. So you see here at the bottom, there's like a little bit of white that's left over. I'll go ahead and cut this in a moment. So now we've covered up the one side that had the, um, the white piece of cardstock. For this particular one, I'm going to add a label to the front. Now the labels I'm using here are from Took's Craft Table. She recently came out with some labels and I'm just loving the labels. She has such varieties. I will link her shop below if you haven't checked it out. So here's one of the labels that I'm using and I think they're, they're really cute um, in this project um, for this particular one because it just looks like a little notebook, but it really isn't. Now at the end, I do end up changing the label because I decided on something else and of course you'll see that soon but um, most of the ones I'm making just have the labels on the front because I think it just looks so nice and tidy and of course you can you know decorate this as much as you want but I wanted to just make these nice and simple okay so you've got your little tuck spot there and now here's where we make our pocket and again I'm going to show you how I like to reuse my papers I'm going to cover the white side again. And again, it's using the four by six sheet of paper. Um, it helps if you've got some scraps um, already gathered of what you think is going to maybe go with your project. It doesn't have to, this can be just like a hodgepodge of whatever you have left. But I really like that I could combine all the little extra pieces of paper that I had from pre uh, previous projects. And um, I could just kind of, you know, finally use most of it up here. So that was really great. Um, I'm just going going to glue again all sides of this side and I prefer to glue on the actual um, folio itself and then add my paper to it. I just find that it's easier to um, you know kind of move the paper around etc if I've added the glue where I know it needs to go and then that also helps me when I'm cutting off the excess pieces that I don't have glue all over the place when I'm doing that. 
So again, making sure that when you line it up with your fold, that you're not right at the fold, that you leave yourself a little gap so that your pages fold nicely over. Okay, so now we're going to make the um, cuts to clean this up. And I think I need to do both sides here. Now, if you're cutting this and measuring it perfectly, of course, you're not going to be needing this step. Um, but I just always like to leave a little extra just in case. Um, the other thing you can always do if you're making this like a vintage project, of course, this is where you would be distressing your edges so there are no white edges. Um, and um, so I think now, of course, if you had double-sided paper, you wouldn't need to do any of this. Um, I'm going to cut off the, um, the pocket. So I'm grabbing my um, scissors here and you see I'm just making kind of like an angled cut. Now this is also where I'm making mine a little different. I'm just keeping this piece and just gluing it back down because this way it kind of gives you the um, illusion that there is no pocket when you actually um, glue everything together. So see how I've glued that down completely down and then the bottom part I'm just going to add glue to the left side and the bottom side. The right side is already attached or the, you know, the side where the fold is is already attached. So I don't need to add glue there. And now you can see that it's like a nice finished look because I've just left everything that I had and I reused it so that it just looks like a nice finished piece. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly show you how I add the um, little corners to the pages. Um, they look like, you know, photo corners and I like, again, reusing my pieces of paper. So all you do is cut um, squares, two by two inch squares. And I'm just going to show you how I do that here and we'll add some of these um, photo corners to the pages. Um, again, this is just a step that I'm doing here, but you don't have to do that as well. So my friends, I had so much fun making these. I'm going to show you next two um, different options on you know the ways you can make this project. Um, so don't forget to also check my playlist for my tutorials um, and my recent videos. I've done a few tutorials on other holiday craft ideas. I'm having so much fun right now. Um, it's, you know, one of those moments that I knew I needed to catch up with um, things I have to send to friends and pen pals. And this has been such a great way to make a bunch of things and have some fun doing it while I watch some shows, etc. So don't forget to check the links below. I will leave those playlists and um, don't forget to check out my favorite supplies list as well. I will link that below. I always get asked what paper I use, what printer I use, all that kind of stuff. And I have it all linked in the description box below. So um, I hope you are definitely enjoying this share and um, I hope you make some. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see what you've made. And thank you so much to uh, Pink Strawberries for inspiring this project because um, I had made a couple of other things, which I will show you. But this one, it was one of the ones I had to jump and start as soon as I saw her video. So don't forget to check out her channel. I will link it below as well. Okay, so now let me show you my other options. Okay, so this one again is using single-sided paper. I've cut out my pieces of paper to fill in the white spaces. But the difference with this one, and I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm just going to glue this down, is um, just a different way to add pockets and um, layers to it. So. I'll be adding all these pages here to cover up my white space. And now I've got additional pockets or, um, you know, tuck spots, etc., that I can use. So you can see here, we finished this off and now we have additional storage, ephemera, spaces, etc. I'm going to be adding the two pockets here. And then I'm thinking I might do the photo corners again for the center. So I'm really, um, the other thing I like about this project is you can just do whatever you want with the folds. Make as many pockets as you want. Um, and of course, like I said, it's such an easy and fun project to use up your scraps, use up your paper pads. I find that that's one of those things that um, I'm sort of always sitting with and trying to figure out what to do with them. But this is a perfect way to use up all of those pieces together. And I think, um, you know, think about making this maybe in a vintage style or shabby chic or 
um, you know, um, botanical themed. I mean, sky's the limit with what you can do with this. But again, um, it all depends on where you add your pockets, your tuck spots, etc. And that's just kind of what makes it even more fun. So I have uh, one more version to show you after this one. And I'm also going to show you the finished, um, you know, decorated portion of this. I decided to kind of just do that um, and not record it because I know many of you will be doing your own thing. Um, but if you did want to see a video of me decorating any of them, let me know and then I can kind of put one together because I'm still making more. So you can see here how nice the little pocket looks with your little tag that sticks out. Now I'm just going to show you what I've done when I finished it. So for the cover, as you can see here, I used one of my tutorials that I shared with you before using um, um, recycled envelopes from business envelopes. So that's what I did for the cover of this one. And now you can see how I changed the, um, the cover on that one as well. So here I do have that tutorial. I will link it below. I have several videos showing you different projects using junk mail envelopes. I love repurposing those. Here again, we've got our little photo pocket. I've decorated this uh, tuck spot here and just added a little um, coin envelope that I made. Again, you've got your nice center tag there, large pocket. And then here I just added a little tuck spot and now you've got all extra spaces to add little pieces to. So I had so much fun with this project, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed the share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you make any of them. And which style did you like the best? I'm also going to show you one last one right now, which is using a double-sided sheet of paper. And you'll just get an idea again of what you can do with that if you have 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbook paper that have two sides to them. So again, for this one, I just left it plain for now just to show you. This is using the 12 by 12 double-sided sheet of paper. I used every little bit of the paper that I cut up when I was using the tags. So as you can see here for the pocket, I had leftover pieces from both of these um, places that I cut the pockets and tuck spots and I've used them throughout. You still have your center pocket, nice and large. And then the other pieces I used in the back and I also made my little corner pockets with the leftover bits and had a little bit left for a pocket in the back. So this is another way you can use a double-sided 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I hope you enjoyed the share. I am loving making them. I'll definitely be making more. And uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys very soon with my next project. Thanks so much for stopping by.